Wow, hello guys. Welcome to MBA Concept Digital Marketing Agency. You are welcome to our graphic section. In this video, I will be holding you by hand and showing you how I design this wonderful flyer you are seeing here. Basically, it is the sticker for the year 2023 for a church. So in this video, I will be showing you exactly how I design this flyer. I hope a lot of you now wonder how this flyer was designed. I believe you can see the beauty, how attractive this design is. Of course, guys, you don't have to worry yourself. And that's why I'm here. In this video, I will show you from beginning to the end how I arrived at this end. Guys, if you are happy and you are ready to learn this with me, Shall we jump into my computer screen as I show you procedures I went through to arrive at this design. Guys, this is not hard at all. It is very, very simple. In fact, it is very, very simple. So in the next 15 minutes, I will show you how a design of this nature is made using Core Draw 2021. Without further ado, let's jump into my computer screen. Now guys, welcome to my current draw interface. This is the user's interface and as you can see, I already have the design tools, the tools I need for this design. I already have them in place, so all I need to do now is to drag and drop and ensure that I'm able to arrive in a well professional design, okay? So you don't need to disturb yourself that much. Just follow me as I hold you by the hand and walk you through the process of achieving this kind of beautiful flyer. It will amaze you if you stay from beginning to the end. I massively appreciate what you will learn in this video. Now let's continue. So I'm already on the interface, the user interface, and now I have set my size. Because it is thicker, I'm using 175 by 100 mm, okay? So now I have the logo of the church already in here. I have, I have all of these, I have the names. We can start this by actually organizing the background. So let me take a, a rectangle so I can start working on my background. So you pick a rectangle, you draw. Then you can come to the size section here and type in 175 by 100 mm. Click your enter, then press P to align it center to center. Okay. Now that we have gotten this, now let's quickly put in a color for the background. Put in a color for the background so now that we have already put a back colored background then let's take all of these guys into the background let's take all of this into the background so what we are working on basically now is to work on the background of this design so edit so what i did was towards power clip this image that i'm using as my background so power clip this okay so we we'll have to be very very specific this is an image and a background so anyhow you stretch it it will not distort the, the character okay this is what we have so i can actually use the transparency tool by clicking on the transparency tool so i can reduce the opacity then we can increase this to 80 all right this is what i have finish it okay then you can see some Thing at the background so let's edit again we put in the second background we stretch as well okay we can stretch this it's a background all right we stretch and in the same way we can also we can also edit this and also have to so again we have Use the transparency tool to reduce the opacity once again. Then we can click on finish. So this is what we have. Then we come with this. And I want to import this. So we power clip inside. That's enter so we can stretch this. Edit. So stretch from one end to the other. As we have it. Okay. So just move it and let it align. Then also you finish. I think the background is coming up small, small. Okay. So let's quickly save this. 
design all right yes design guys hope you are learning a bit already now we can take this in by power clip inside take this in also and power clip inside then we open this edit then we take this hand to this end then drag from end then take this other one to this end and also drag from one end now because of the color that i have i need to change this red this white background of this image to something reddish okay to, to something reddish what do i do i will come to my effects here click on effect then come to adjust under adjust you will come to image adjustment lab all right so you click on it now when you click on it you see it has already turned because i have used it before so from here you can actually work on the color you can work on the color so what i need now is i want this color to blend with my background whichever way you want to do it you can have this you see so i'm working on this you'll see what is happening but in this case i just need this to be in this form so let me adjust it back I move it to this end then move this to this end okay so it can possibly blend with my background okay so i don't need to be too white then i can okay this now that i have this achieved then let's use the transparency tool so we drag from one end to the other okay drag from one end to the other let's zoom it and now we have this okay zoom it so we can see this hand now let's finish it so you see what is happening so you see this is what we have now again we come to the other end we come to the other end then we also use the transparency tool for this other guy take the transparency tool then take it to the down now as you do this you find out that the the one you did before at the left end has automatically cancelled so what do you do first you have to convert this to a bitmap so come and convert the first one you've done to a bitmap so that you can do the other end now i've converted this to bitmap then i can take it to the other end and blend to the background as well so i blend this to the background all right so this is what we have this is what we have i blend this to the background then you can finish i believe the design is coming up small small okay now let's quickly bring the name of the church they are the name of the church so let's take their logo down here put down the logo somewhere here and you have it then take it up just control and use the page up button now we have used the page up button let's take our test we'll continue working on the background but let's just do something so that the design will look something nice to us okay now my this is 2023 my year off all right so let's drop this and change the color to white so let's position this here then again we, we duplicate and drag down now that we have dragged this down let's this is highly favored okay highly favored all right so this is what we have now then we can quickly change the fourth character now how do we work on the fourth character come to this phone you have area you can simply just type in here swiss okay swiss see you have you see what you have so the test has changed in shape all right so this is the font that we have now so if it appears that the letters are too spacious so we can reduce the space between the letters okay i think i like it this way it's a matter of choice all right i think i like it this way so you can increase this all right then for the year 2023 we can also take this to be that but let's use that again let's use swiss okay but in this case i'll be using another type of swiss okay now we'll come to our swiss family okay well, we'll come to swiss family we'll have swiss bt when we come here we'll see the one that is wider section as the case may be. so you have so many number of properties here but anyone you choose to click on you can just select so this is what i have at this point let's increase this a bit okay this is enough for now then we can also duplicate this 
so we can type in the name of the church. So what's the name of the church? The name of the church is the House of Truth International Ministry. The House of Truth International Ministry. Alright, so you can drop it. Then let's work on the size. Let's reduce the size to 12. Then make the color black. Then we can take it down to where we have the logo. Alright, so this is what we have. If it's not big enough, we can adjust this later. Let's make it 14 for now. Okay, I think this is all is good. So we take it down again. Then next is to put in the address of the church. Okay, I hope you are getting massive value already in this video. Alright, so you are gaining much value. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, guys, do consider subscribing to this channel and leave your comment at the comment section. Okay, let's continue. Now, the address of this wonderful church is behind. Then the tests are too spacious. We can actually reduce the space between the tests. Now, the name of the church is competing with the address, so we need to reduce the size of the address. Let's say we are using 10. Okay. Then it's too bold as well. We can use another type. Okay, you can actually use Montserrat family, like we have now, and still use Montserrat family. So we can use Montserrat family for this address. Let's adjust this up a bit. Then address, adjust this. Now, basically, we can turn this to red color. You can as well leave it as black, or let's leave it to this color. Wow, wow, guys. Our design is actually coming on board. It's coming on board, it's coming on board, it's coming on board, it's coming on board. This is wonderful. So now let's continue. Now remember that this 2023, we need to work on it. But while we continue, I think you can see some beautiful stuff that are happening already for how far we have gone at this level. So you see how far we have gone. Now let's work on the background once again for this other end. So you edit, select this image where hands are shaking. Then also come to your effect so you can work on the image color so you can blend with the background. So I like it as it is. Remember, this background has been worked on before. So as I click on it once, it just gives me what I need. All right, so this is what we have. So you can always adjust the color so it blends with the background. Okay. So now what do we do now? The next thing we are quickly going to do is to use the transparency tool so we can blend this to the background. Okay, so we blend this to the background. So if you are okay with what you have done so far, then what you need to do. Remember, we have done it in one end. Let's finish it so we see the outcome. So you find out that the other end, at the bottom edge, is still very, very sharp. So we need to also blend that end to the background. Being that we have blended this image once, so we need to what? Bitmap, convert it to bitmap. Okay? So when we convert to bitmap, we can take the other end and blend it to the background. So let's blend this other end to the background, which we are doing shortly. So we have blended this end to the background. I hope you are beginning to appreciate what is happening here already. We are beginning to appreciate what is happening here. Wow. Wow. All right. So let me increase this happy man who has, who, whom God has blessed. Let's increase it. This may be you in 2023 that you can get this massive favor. You know what it is. Okay. Now, I want to add something dark to this end where I have a white background. So you can just take a rectangular session, create a rectangular session here, and then make it black color. Okay. Then you drop, remove the outline. Then we can rotate it by angle 45. 45. Okay. Then we move this. Then we can increase it as lead as your lead. You can increase this. Yes, increase it. Okay, I think I like it this way. Then what do we do? We will blend it again using the transparency tool to the background. I just want to reduce the whiteness of this end. Let's make it a bit dark. Okay. Let's make it a bit dark. Alright. So just adjust to your taste. Remember, this is design. So, so let's finish it up. Yes, this is what we have. This is what we have. So what is remaining now majorly is that we need to quickly put in the scriptures. So before we put in the scriptures, remember we have a, a red background here. So we put in a red background below the fever. Then you can drop, change the color to red. 
Now, I want this red color, this background to look like. But before then, let's work on the edges. So select this top edge and drag. Then select the bottom end here and drag. Okay. Now the second thing we are going to do to this image is to have this image look like 3D. Okay. So how do we make this happen? We can simply just click on the gradient tool so that we bring in gradient here. This is red. So this top end will make it red. While this bottom end we can make it black or use this other color here. Okay. So adjust this up a bit take it up okay now you have dropped yes so if you see it now it's looking exactly like 3d so what do we do we simply need to take again any of the tests duplicate okay then we edit this so first we have Luke 1 verse 28 now we have Luke again 2 verse 52 then we have Esther, Esther 2 verse 9, then we have Proverb, Proverbs 3 verse 4, okay? So now we can possibly just still use our Motras family here, okay? They will reduce this size of this test to like 12, for instance. Then we move it to each position, drag it down here and drop here, then take it off. Edit, just page it up and take it off. So this is too faint. Now we can pull this. Yes, I love this, I love this. Remember, this is just a matter of choice. Okay, it's just a matter of choice. And I like it bold. Then you can centralize. Okay? I hope this design is coming up bit by bit, right? Hmm, I think I deserve a photo of high necky after this. Now, if you really want to learn graphic design, you can enroll into our graphic design classes so you can start learning. Remember, graphic designers are in high demand in this current dispensation. So now let's work on this 2023. You remember how fast how we had this 2023 it was very very beautiful so let's separate these two tests all right so we separate the 2023 from my year off so we break it by using ctrl k then we shift this guy to this end then this 2023 we'll take it as the order we can take it as monserrant family we can take it as this guy but when we are taking it as this swiss I would like to use a very bold Swiss, very bold Swiss family. Okay, let's use this. Yes, let's go with this. This is quite okay. It's quite okay. So we increase the font size. Take it up. Increase the font size. Take it up. We can actually reduce it later. Now let's use the transparency tool. Sorry, let's use the gradient tool so that we can put in two colors here so let this end be yellow okay let's use yellow while this other end let it be orange color so we make use of orange yes so this is what we have now now the next thing we are quickly going to do is to ensure that we bring this test closer to each other so that they touch each other all right so let's have it this way so they touch each other okay i think i like what i have now now that this is enough, then we put our... The next thing we are quickly going to do is to put in a shadow. So we will take a shadow and put in a shadow. We have this. You can work on the shadow. Just work on the shadow. So let's reduce the feather to 7. Then the opacity, you can work on it. Let's make the opacity 80. Okay. If 18 is too bold, then we can actually reduce it to 75. Okay, just like that. I think I'm okay with this. All right. Now the next, okay. So you control break it. So you can see what we have now. We are going there. So select again, uh, come to your simplify. So select the object, under object, move down, come to shape, 
under shape come to simplify. Now that we have this, we can now separate this a bit, move it. So as you move it, you see that there is a space now. So that end I have this taken off. So take this one up a bit. So this is what we have. Now, like you have it, you can see a fan background for the tool. So move this guy to this end. Yes, I'm okay here. Then select the next test. Move it closer to this tool. Okay. It's a matter of choice of how you want the space in between them to look like. So in this case, I will just take this two up a bit. So I have this void. Then move this three closer to two and take it up a bit. And also I have a few like this. So this is what we have. Now I can group all of them together. Are you there? Yes. So you press Ctrl G to group them up together. So this is what we have. Then we can move it and then resize. Then resize. All right. So we resize this. Please let me make use of Montserrat family for this also. In Montserrat family, we can use Montserrat, Montserrat medium bold. Yes, I like this. I like this. Hope this design is getting you amazed. Hope you are so, so excited for the massive value you are giving. Remember, I promise to hold you by the hand and show you how to design a wonderful a uh, sticker like this of course i need to increase this but meanwhile let's reduce this a bit again okay now let the 2023 and this guy group and centralize okay yes so guys what have you to say about this design now remember let's quickly work on this as well edit again now this last background we put let's increase the opacity to like 75 okay yes i like it this way uh -huh. yes yes this is good 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 okay now let's move it up a bit with up a bit okay 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 remember from what we had this test was in capital letter uppercase so what do we need to do? Shift F3. So uppercase, let's capitalize it. Now the test has gone beyond the shape. So we can increase the shape. Let's increase the shape a bit. Okay. Then let's centralize. Hmm. All right. So what have you to say about this design now? Like I promise, I promise that I will hold you by the hand and show you exactly how I designed this wonderfully amazing flyer. So guys, this is what we have now. Another amazing thing that I will do here now is that this test, I can actually make it 3D from here and I can also import a 3D file that I have already edited and I've already customized from the Photoshop Adobe. All right, so let's go to my Photoshop. Let's dive to my Photoshop Adobe. This is it. So I have already customized this. Okay, you can see it's something I worked on all by myself. So you see, this highly favored. Okay, favored V. So this is what we have. Now all I just need to do is to save this file as is to save this file as a PNG file. So Control Shift X. Okay, Control Shift X. So NG. And now we are saving this as one. So let's just save it to my desktop. Save to my desktop. Then let me save it to Kingdom Tinkers 2023. Yes, save it here. So, boom. I OK this. Save. Then save. OK. Now what I need to do now is to look for that image. Come to Kingdom Tinkers. Then I will look for the file. See it here? Highly favored. Then I will drag this. I will drag this to my core draw and draw. So this is what we have. Now let's remove this other one so we can re resize this. So we can put it down there. So we can resize. We can resize. But before then, let's remove this other one. Let's delete and bring this one in. 
Okay, let's resize. Let's resize. Wow. This design is getting getting well, well amazing. Okay, so now that we have imported this, then we can just centralize. Okay. So this is it. I hope you enjoy how this design was made. Unhook this. Let me just increase my hair a bit. Okay. Take this up, move it closer to 2023, and then increase a bit. Then we move this. Okay. Now, this is what we have. Now my address, I can decide to make it slanting. I can decide to make it this way. It's a matter of choice. That's all. Wow. This I, this is amazing. Wow. So, guys. That will be all for now. So I've actually, as promised, I've actually hold you by the hand and walk you through the processes involved in having an amazing design like this. Guys, we have successfully rounded off this section of having a design of this kind flyers designed using CorelDRAW 2021. Initially, when I told you that I used CorelDRAW 2021 to design this, you really do not believe, but now you have actually believed how I did it. You may not have learned much, but I believe you have learned something from this wonderful session with me. So guys, please do consider subscribing to this channel. This is what you will do to actually encourage us to keep uploading content, okay? So please, ensure you like this video, share this video, and leave a comment at the comment section of this video. Like I promised you earlier, that I will show you exactly how it is designed. I have showed you exactly how I designed it without hiding anything from you. Yes, truly, in this channel, we don't hide anything from you. You learn everything free of charge. So guys, what you just need to do is that you have to stay tuned because in our next video, we will be using Adobe Photoshop to design this wonderful flyer. You may have been having issues on how to use Adobe Photoshop to design wonderful flyers like this. Don't worry, I will hold you by the hand and show you exactly how to use Adobe Photoshop to design a flyer like this. In fact, I will also show you after that how to use Adobe Illustrator. Yes, you have heard me right. Adobe Illustrator to design this same wonderful flyer. You don't need to doubt. All you just need to do is to stay tuned, turn on the post notification bell so that when we upload those content, you will be notified and you just dive into your YouTube channel and watch this wonderful now guys, for those of us that are newbies here, if you really want to become a professional, these videos we upload on our content page will not be enough to help you become professional. So we have a master class where we train professionals. So if you really want to become a professional graphic designer, all you just need to do is to join our master's class. So if you are interested in joining our master's class where we teach people professional designs or how to design design branding logos and many other designs please you can just chat me up on the whatsapp number that is showing on your screen right now so chat me up and i will add you up to our master's class and tell you what and what you need in that master's class that is when we teach you color theory we teach you font we teach you all the things that you really need to know basically the elements required to achieve a professional design i will take you to a website where you can access high profile resources for graphic design we love you thank you for watching thank you for staying to this point please do ensure you share this video we love you guys thank you and see you guys in the next video